What is up, everybody? Welcome back. I've decided we're going here next, and we're making it safe. Charge new routes. And visit. See what we might find. Oh, sorry. Just got done laying down watching shows, and so I'm a little <clears throat> sleepy from it. <laughs> Just a little. What if we have enough holy gifts now, by the way? I wasn't just wondering. Let's see. Yeah, 45% on that one. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we are a little SOL on holy gifts at the moment. Ooh, here we go. Bones in the desert. After analyzing the auger data, the officers were surprised to discover the planet was once covered in oceans. Long ago, an unknown cataclysm caused the seas to dry out and turned the worlds into a lifeless desert. The most amazing discovery of all was the skeletal remains of a colossal oceanic organisms, some large enough to be seen from orbit. Life is fragile, even for creatures as enormous. <clears throat> I feel like this is the one we'll be able to scan and this is the one we'll have something on it, but I don't know, I probably am wrong. Can anybody read those uh, letters, by the way? If you can't, let me know what they all are all about. <clears throat> Nothing on any of them. That's okay. All right, well, that's that area. Quick enough. Before we continue on to the next zone, let's kind of look at this. Force Archive. Arid Worlds. No active quests. 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 Just making sure, you know, we didn't somehow miss something. Although I know we did actually miss something. Um, I'll show you that. In a moment. <coughs> I don't know what this Explorator fleet is not aware thing is about. I'm not really sure what that's up with that. All right. <coughs> oh, this is a colonized world. Neat. Okay. Um, wanted to check our journal real quick. So I was looking at this and we do have this. Perhaps the data on the rogue trader's personal cogitator could explain the strange entries. <clears throat> on my personal cogitator. Now, is that in my room or where is that? I don't know. <laughs> like, is it? It's not this, is it? Oh, wait, yes. Put it the text. What's that supposed to mean? Entry input prompt. The machine spirit has recognized the one who stands before it. The previous string of secret code signified a grrr meeting as well as acknowledgement that you have successfully completed a certain task. Now the great mechanism stands ready to process your request. What task? The answer lies beyond the bounds of my knowledge. She looks back at the cogitator. My suspicion is that it must have something to do with your recent travels. Input prompt. Since my presence how? The mechanism was molded in the forges of the Adeptus Mechanicus so that it might serve the spirit of traitor. It was in your presence that the machine spirit first manifested itself. A miracle of the honest eye and a testament to his glory. Enough of this. I wish to inquire about something else. Seemed to be all. What's this? Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it, it, it triggered something, but it didn't really do anything that I know. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my throat's messing up. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to here. We're not going to be doing this yet, I don't think, but I want to get over to here at least. Chart new routes. Because we haven't done this yet. Well, that's a dangerous way to go. You know, we might we might actually start Dargonus today. That's fine. We probably will actually start Dargonus today. Lord Captain, Master Helms in on the line. I can report that the quest for the capital order of the Von Valencia's dynasty is finally at an end. Dargonus is straight ahead. 
We received countless greetings. Your subjects like to know when their master is arriving. The merchant captains taking refuge in the orbital docks of the Dargonus race to send you priceless welcoming gifts, hoping to buy your favor and intend to make an impression on the rogue trader. Tell Dargonus the rogue trader is coming home. It will be done, Lord Captain. After the connection of the Master Helms is cut, the device crackles with Henrix's voice. Heinrichs's voice. Lord Captain, I'm pleased to accompany you and your visitor, Argonus, so I can personally introduce Achilles Scalander, a third servant of the Golden Throne who previously attended Lady Theodora under Gonus. I'm counting on your benevolence. Ends with a click. But I don't want to take you. <laughs> <clears throat> Fine. Full. I'll just. Um, something that we actually require, but we don't have any extractums at the moment. We need some mechanisms as well. Mechanisms. <clears throat> Probably. Get over it, girl. Let's get a save as we head over here to this Adeptus Mechanicus ship. Lord Captain, transport shuttle bearing the markings of the Adeptus Mechanicus is approaching the ship. Magus Tarsus' delegation intends to board our ship and gain an audience with your lordship. This is exactly how they phrase it. He intends, not humbly requests. Many of my tech comrades regret ne neglect diplomacy when interacting with the lady. It is regrettable. What do they want? The honorable servants of the Omnissi have ignored our request. Such arrogance is hardly trivial. It rather appears to be part of their intimidation tactics. Receive the delegation. There may be important or unimportant business. It will be done. Requesting permission to be present of the audience granted to my tech comrades. Absolutely, friend. Oh, we're going to be fighting them? Fantastic. Let's take on the count then. Let's crush these sons of bitches. Alrighty. Opticon 22. Tarzus? A group dressed in the crimson of the priesthood of Mars walks towards you, their gaze is fair fixed on Pascal. You know that the group is non-monolithic. Mon Some of its members are heavily armed and follow a large tech priest clad in battle armor. Others keep a respectable distance and cast inquiry looks at their own leader, whose hunched posture belies his tall frame. Despite the hood fighting on his face, you recognize him as Opticon 22, whom you encountered on footfall. The enormous tech priest points his hand at Pascal and lets out a booming roar, not like, unlike a factory alarm. It makes the very bones vibrate. Herald servo skulls marked with the emblem of the cog follow in its wake. They blare shrilly. Thou shalt not suffer a heretic in thy forge, for rust begets rust. Pascal Hanuman, in the name of the Adeptus Mechanicus, you are under arrest. The hunched servant of the Omnicide turns to you. Diplomacy mode engage. And that's what the Adeptus Mechanicus off their apologies. Would like to inform you of the necessity of conducting an operation to detain, arrest, terminate a faulty unit of the rogue trader's territory. Study the two priests of Mars. You identify the rare armor of enormous tech priests wearing as secu Secutor's plated mechanized suit. It carries the imprints of many battles and has markings that announce its status as a relic. Some of the armor's damage looks fairly severe to the point of endangering its operation. The slivers of flesh revealed on the seal are marked with terrible chemical burns. Every now and then, convulsion shakes the Tekri's body and a painful sounding hiss comes from his box. The tall Tekri who spoke to you looks more peaceful and makes a point of not drawing his weapon. There's an air concern about the way he frequently glances over at his fellow scrutinizing his condition. Who are you? In a burst of chattering, the service skull hastens to translate the master's mighty Beinharic Hal, an instrument of the Omnissi authorized to punish an exact vengeance known by the designation Tarsus Hanuman. Identification codes recognized and confirmed. These units are who they declare themselves to be. <coughs> On what charges are you trying to arrest a member of my retinue? The heretic is accused of stealing personal identification codes, spreading tech heresy on the world of Calvagamma, and making an attempt on the life of a servant of the Omnissi. The deafening roar of the tech priest box makes a grimace and pain. You touch your ear and notice blood in your fingers. The faulty unit will be removed. In the name of the Omnissi, I condemn you. Lightning flashes across the warrior's armor. Agony resounds in the blare of his vox alarm. In contrast, Pascal speaks quietly and coldly. You are malfunctioning. Tech comrade, I deem your logical conclusions questionable. The statement is false. Tech brother Tarzus and Newman is willingly undergoing holy torment deterioration, which, however, does not affect, does not critically affect his cognitive capacity for data analysis. Unit calling itself Pascal and Newman, you have, we have information that implicates you. Having learned that you are a member of the retinue, a maintenance specialist in the service of Rogue Trader Von Valencius. We have come here with the goal of meeting you, intercepting you, engaging you in combat. <coughs> Wait, what's happening on Kiava Gamma? That planet belongs to me. According to Vox interception data, the planet's fabricator sensor made incorrect blasphemous modifications to manufacturing working procedures, which qualifies as a lapse and a sacrilege. The Adeptus Mechanicus are hereby officially notifying House Von Valencius of having commenced an investigation into operation to remove fabricator sensor Cubus Delphum. Estimated time to procedure completion 3.7 solar years. 
It does suggest that the unit which used Magus Explorer Torfa Newman's identification code performed an unauthorized upgrade on the planetary Vox array and introduced data deemed to be scrap code into its operation. This fact points on to the unit's criminal complicity with the heretic Cubus Delphim. Does the big fella have to roar? Negative. Upon complete cleaning and sanctification procedure, Tech Brother Tarzus vowed modified his engrammatic augment augmetics algorithms in order never to desecrate subtly tarnish his mouth box cognitive process with flesh speak the service will screech mine is a pure and bionic tongue that preserves only what is true and shuns scrap data are you saying that this bloodthirsty hulk is a saint this statement is true brother tarsus has the honor of wearing authorization to wear the sacred battle harness that belonged to magos militant hospector grecus one of the first champions of faith holy scouts joined the cause of conquering the coronas expanse after his death the termination of his vital functions at the end of the xenos his damaged goliath class armor was preserved and given the status of relic the depths mechanicuses regard this act as voluntary martyrdom self-sacrifice destruction for the glory of the Deus Deus mechanicus the battle harness is classified as cognitive armor. The machine spirit living it is strong and wise, but took major damage in the course of Magus Gracchus's last battle. Besides sacred litanies and imperatives of service to the Omnicide, the armor broadcasts a continuous signal of suffering and agony in a brother Tarsus's mind. <clears throat> Do you have any proof that this tech priest is who he claims to be? Confirmed. According to the entry 1E992. Three seven Magos Explorator Tarzus and Newman served on maintained the ship identifier classified in the capacity of a reliquary to caretaker. He sustained extensive damage to both organic and the sacred part of his body in a series of sacrilegious breaches in the oper rate of operation and assassination attempt. Owing to statistically fortunate coincidence by the Omnicide's grace, enough of his operational capacity was preserved for him to don a Goliath model's sacred battle harness, which would preserve his vital functions functionality. Archive entry personally data sealed by the captain of the identifier classified. The sound of the tech priest fox was like the moan of a bending steel beam. A servo skull declares, for vengeance I thirst, as I tread the path of vengeance, following a blast of us miscreant's bloody tracks. Analysis of the security system shows that the assassin's heretics infiltrated the reliquary using Brother Tarsus' unique identification code. Someone had stolen, duplicated Brother Tarsus' identity, which is a grade 3 transgression, and the unit making the alleged criminal claim of being Pascal Hanuman is known to have previously used entered the stolen code. What do you say to this, Pascal? Pascal replies firmly, his voice crackling with a hint of indignation. I deny these charges. I never plotted against my tech comrade. My cognitive purity valves were never distorted. My unique identification code was never stolen. I am the true Magos Explorator Hanuman, and I am not guilty. Tech Priest's deep guttural roar blends with the servo skull high-pitched whine witness. I'm not handing Pascal over to you unless I see evidence. Let's get to the bottom of this matter together. Press approved. Ready to work in cooperative mode. Tarsus gives you a haughty look and lets out a howl of wrath. Archiving. Tech brother Tarsus opposes lay, lay participation in the investigation slash truth for, search for truth. The unit Opticon 22 advises in favor of House Fondalansis representatives participation request. I insist on a joint investigation, arresting a road trip new man without any justification stating in breach of the law and my privileges under the warrant of the trade. Request for cooperation reviewed and accepted. I request brother Tarsus Brother Tarvis's consent to co-participation co of the representatives of the Von Valencius dynasty in the investigation proceedings. A sacrilegious conspiracy refused to help from refused to help from laypersons. I am a cog of the Deus Mechanicus that grinds down corruption. I will carry out the sentence immediately. Yeah, yeah, it's all not coming. Pascal freezes, but then greets sparks light up his visor. He extends his hand towards Tarzus and replies in a clanging voice, let the cycle be discontinued. You realize Pascal's words are coming from his own box and Tarzus's. And every sensor on the executioner's battle harness lights up at once, blindingly, and the wounded armored Leviathan lets out a deafening roar of pain. Attention, priority notification. Service units of the Kappa Thread supply line are unauthorized to confront the road trader. Command, retreat, and reinitiate negotiations. Heretic Pascal will wreak punishment upon you in the name of the Deus Mechanicus. Estimated probability of conflict inevitable. Initiating retreat slash confrontation. <laughs> oh, I can read the rest of it. Sorry. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Your Turn arrogance will powers. be your downfall. Uh, Pascal, why don't you uh get into some like safety here? I'll put you here. Put you here. You're fine here, I guess. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter much. All right. Good luck, nerds. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Ooh. Got some big boys up in here today. Let's go for the sharpshooter. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> Uh, 
As the Emperor commands, I act. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Running by Neric Override. Should we buff all these guys up? Request approved. I'm focusing on the smaller ones first. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. And this is Trench Line? Plus 19%, 19% cover. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. I'm actually gonna let Gregor go here to make sure he can yell Who if not me? to taunt up everybody. I know that's completely different to what I would normally do, but I think that's what we're definitely doing this time around. Should have drug them all in together so we could do it for all of them first, oh well. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I can't do it, thank. Okay. How dare you? Emperor, deliver us. I see it got popped. Argenta, my dear. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Doubt is for the weak. Eradicated. Good shot, girl. Everybody going after Cassia. Poor Cassia. <clears throat> Why did I not Oof. foresee this? I understand your intent. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Monkey. Baby hit. Almost got rid of the cover though. This tedium is beneath me. Yeah, you, you can't take on Gregor, you nerds. We'll do. Beautiful psychic assault there. Let's try to deprive your sensors if you? we may. Or... We'll do. as they try to fight Gregor. As the tactical imperative dictates. Yeah, see, I moved them back because I figured that was going to end up hurting. And it, well, and it did. And it did. Running by Eric Override. Request approved. The navigator is coming. Grace, at least. Poor guys. Don't stand a chance. We'll have a foe painted black. <laughs> Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Each strike is a and prayer. A level up. Oh, that's hot. As the Emperor commands, I act. If I may. And two more dead. Oh, one more, more dead. It's okay. In the name of House Orcelio, I shall prevail. Faith without deeds and is worth pop. I'll do it. This 
is why I was chosen. As the Emperor no commands, I act. <laughs> I'll do it. And goodbye. Eradicated. <clears throat> Wild. Requesting suscitation of hostilities. Point to Tarzus. Help your brother. The unit that calls himself Tarzus and Newman is dead has been disabled. This material asset is beyond restoration or reuse of spare parts. After Pons Pascal bows his head, if by an heart, Requiem pours out of his vox. Despite his misconception, he was a servant of the Omnissiah. Sorry that you had to kill a comrade. I also regret have to ne have a negative assessment of this event. The Adeptus Mechanicus still accused the unit, identifying itself as Pascal and Newman, of a criminal theft or unique identification code. Unlike Tech Brother Tarzis, I am not authorized to immediately arrest, execute the unit, but neither am I authorized to drop the inquiry. <clears throat> there are no apostates among us. The piercing voice of the Vox Synth is more overwhelming than Tarzis' thunderous roar. Tech Brother Tarzis and the machine spirit that lived in his battle harness succumbed to the suffering that beset them. Their judgment was rash and erroneous. Now that their torment is over, I declare them martyrs and re requisitioning Tarzis and Newman's neural augmentic for the purpose of preserving his blessed memory. An astonished tech priest to look on, Pascal leans over the slain man's body and extract the augment from his skull. His movements are as precise as they are respectful. Whatever you just did, it's working. Keep going. Good, good, good job, man. With each word, Pascal's voice goes more powerful and majestic. You saw the agony your brother, tech brother Tarsus was in. His unbridled pain spurred faith and in intimidated you, yet you were silent. Reverence stopped you from raising your voices to proclaim that the machine spirit with which his mind had merged was morbidly afflicted. The imperative of reverence had paralyzed your will, and you watched a tragedy unfold in silence. The sixth universal law states that comprehension is a true path of knowledge, yet the procedural cycle has robbed you of your comprehension, therefore let the cycle be discontinued. Opticon 22, there's a clang of Opticon's knees pressed into the floor. Crimson hooded heads are bowed, let the cycle be discontinued. The radiant light pouring out of Pascal's visor grows dimmer, static creeps back into his voice, let the cycle be discontinued, my comrades. Pascal, there's one small point I'm not clear on. What just happened? Pascal's Vox Synth crackles somewhat tentatively. I decided to sustain my words with an excerpt from one of the Blessed Armonaut's sermons on lost internal and external function, verse 4. My analysis deemed it appropriate. What was the reason for that act of genufl genuflection? It has been a long time since the words of the Messiah of discontinuing were last spoken openly slash over public communication bans. We respectfully welcome wisdom's return. So he has not forgotten after all. The Messiah of discontinuing, is that you refer to Amarnaut? Following Archmaker's Amanat's partial lay cessation removal from the chain of command that was the authorship attri attribution on the series of sermons on discontinuing the cycle that were disseminated across the Cognizant's fleet. It was, in fact, a title used by many in times past. Is, our, is Amanat's teaching not heretical? The statement is false. Contrary to what many servants of the Amanasaya thought they knew, preferred to believe, this fleet's supreme conclave never formulated issued an official statement on that decision. 37% of the supreme conclave's members openly supported Archmaker's Amanat's views and and disappeared were removed from the chain of command under circumstances that were classified. The Supreme Conclave has not had the quorum ever since. Do you know where he is now? Data unavailable. No reports have mentioned Archmage Armonauts since the incident on the Arc Mechanicus Hermetico, which led to the presumed destruction and disappearance of that void ship. No, my archive has no data on the Hermetico incident. The vessel was blessed. Armonaut's space of operation. Is it lost then? Pascal's place is filled with anxiety. Were you among his followers? Negative. I had no contact with Archmagus Armonaut and never a member of his flock disciples retinue. However, my analysis of the doctrine he outlined inspired in me deep respect for trust in him. I presume the conflict between Pascal has been resolved. That I received provides the basis for calling the fallen tech brother Tarsus' hypothesis into question. Out of respect due for the lack of authorization to indict, followers of the Messiah discontinuing, we will not proceed with the detainment, arrest, termination. The Amnesty knows all, comprehends all. Thank you, Tech Brother Op Opticon 22. Now that that conflict has been resolved, you may remain aboard my ship. Request denied. The Kappa Thread Supply Line delegation is leaving Dargonus, expresses gratitude for the hospitality, sees fire, and proclaims its intent to return to footfall to resume performing its regular functions. Tech Priest looks over at Pascal as if waiting for something. Pascal's Mechadendrite briefly touches the shoulder of Opticon 22, who bows respectfully. Pascal, are you the Archmagus? Something weird going on with this, and I'm very, very interested in his story, and I'd like to know more. And I'd also like this black screen to go away. Please. Thank you. We leveled up. That's awesome. Let's loot. An omnisized axe and a power sword. I'm not interested in the power sword. Might be interested in this axe. Too bad we don't get his armor, although it seemed to be damaging him, so maybe we're not interested in his armor. Same kind of axe, same kind of axe. Okay, that's fine then. Add to cargo.
add to cargo. You know, I see these two and I'm like, you go together. We need one more piece though. All right, let's load these guys up and I'll bring you right back. All right, this was just upgrading their special, their, their ability, their unyielding guard. So he just got the one that makes them more tanky. Pascal got the one for more dodge, parry and armor. She got the one for more damage uh, for their missing wounds. They got the wild hunt upgrade to deal. So I thought this one was cool. 300% uh, damage if they attack exactly one target with the wild hunt. Argenta got a plus seven MP and restores through charges to hunt down the prey. And Cassia here took a maximum number of action points granted by take hold and increase to five. So just neat Some things that we're not really going to use that often for the most part, it would seem. Keep your wits about we're pretty you. dedicated in what we use. Just seeing if there's anything down here. There wasn't. Been in this hall, I remember this hall. The very one of the first areas we saw in the game, actually. Where we met the traitor. I guess now we can go down to Dargonus. Go. <clears throat> Mundus Valencius. Save and go down. Two spots, huh? The Administratum and the Von Valencius Palace. Let's go to the Administratum first. We have to shake Jai with us. Who are we dumping because of that? Not Cassia. I'll tell you that much right now. I probably will dump. Oh, I can't dump Pascal. I need the. Uh, I think it's your let. I think that's what it is. And then we'll have to level up Jai when we get down here. Actually, it's funny. Let's go. Huh. I was actually expecting there to be something. Let's uh, level up Jai and I'll bring you guys back. She's got a few levels I gotta get in, so it might be a minute. All right, I think we started over here with her. So we took Ballistic Seal because Fellowship was already maxed. Then we went ahead and took um, Dawn Victory. Every critical hit scored by the Mass Detection grants momentum equal to Resolve 2, works three times around. Inspires, so we could just do some buffing. Stacking the deck. Uh, Critical damage dealt by is plus one for every stack spent. Yep. Um, commerce, we took ballistic skill, uh, plasma weapon proficiency, nerves of steel, more commerce, agility, because for some reason I couldn't take fellowship. They were both like mad. Fellowship and ballistic skill were matched, maxed, so that's fine. And then orchestrated firestorm, because we're never going to use it, so who cares? Also, while we're doing this, we should probably check out what she's got equipped. And see if we want to equip anything else. Like we've got this. But she's more of a pistol person, so I'm not really interested in that. But maybe the other shuriken pistol, huh? Yeah, let's get another shuriken pistol on there. While we're here, let's just add things we're not going to use to our cargo. It's better than the ghost sword, but the ghost sword gets parry. But eh, yeah, it's actually better. I don't just, I just don't need all this stuff is the problem. I mean, some of it's cool, but whatever. might be using that she uses light armor so we do have that improved body glow for her I like that so I'm gonna keep that around just in case it might, it might come in handy one day I'm gonna keep those two things around too Can move without provoking attacks to opportunity as long as they have less than 50% wounds left. Kills me in there, plus five willpower, Medicaid. 
or Xenos by 10. That's really good for her, actually, because she's iconoclastic. Her lore Imperium is nuts now. Um, whenever they deal damage, they have 20% chance to get 2 MP. Eh. Sorry, I'm moving these things out of the way. Yeah, I think the one she's got is fine. The range weapon. Yes, definitely. I like that with her. That's cool. Plus 15 to commerce. I, I really like the plus 15 to commerce. I mean, this is like crazy. Because she uses fellowship so much more. So like it does increase the thing. But meh. I want the commerce. She doesn't wear that. We don't use bolter weapons on her. She can't use those. Grants 10% dodge. Dodge probably really good for her, honestly. Yeah, dodge is probably where it's at for her. All right, cool. She's equipped now. I like it. Wait a minute. Sorry. I did put back on the right thing, right? I did. Okay. Let's save. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.